Ladies, gentlemen, and others, welcome to the first thrift shop open. The options here are even better than I could have possibly imagined in my wildest dreams. Now we all know that golf can be prohibitively expensive. $3.99, deal of the day right there. I might be able to negotiate it down to two. It can cost as much in some cases to get your first set of golf clubs as opening your first Del Taco location. Can I have the intestinal tremors tacos? At least with a golf club after six months, you have something to show for the investment. Look at this ram here, five wood, 199. One man's junk is another man's treasure. For those of us that don't have a Del Taco franchise to invest in our golf game, what's a good place to start? I would submit the thrift shop open might be the answer. Can I just say that I don't usually think about swinging both ways, but then I found this little beauty. Go spend as little money as possible in your local store. But look, you got club face for right-handers, club face for left-handers. You can go both ways with it. For a set of six or more clubs, golf balls, and then go to a discount tee time site, buy the cheapest tee time available, and go out and have some fun. The confidence, solid state. I mean, look at the pure wrap job around the, the hosel there. No splintering off of that wood. Let's see what happens today. Let's go pop some tags. Six dollars, Wilson Staff range ball. You get that for free on pretty much any public range. You know, there are some jobs that only a top flight 10 iron can handle, but this is the one that's really interested me because you got a lot of top flights in there, probably from the 80s. You got this one, which, you know, Strixon makes the pure white ball. This right here is uh, solid brown. Just did our purchases here. We got six golf clubs at two bucks each. I uh, sprung for the Arnold Palmer two wood to go with off the tee. I've got this little grab bag of balls here. All sorts of varieties, colors, shapes, what you're really looking for in golf balls. And of course, you know, if you're gonna wear a hat, wear a hat. into us and hitting the Arnold Palmer personal Wilson collection two wood with the fragmented hosel. I think we're going to be okay. I don't know. I'd, I think I'd call my style across between Jason Mraz, the Rat Pack, and the Waiting to Die Buena Vista Social Club. Working with the, uh, the Fern Quest putter, San Francisco limited model. We have 245 left on this par five, and I've got the sweet little tr treasured ram here. These grooves catch some grass. Looks like we're running a marijuana growing operation inside these things. That sweet little ram, five wood, just got me on here with an eagle opportunity. Woo! I used to think I said in the uh, thrift store, store that one man's trash was another man's treasure. Look at this. Pretty sure that one man's cold top is another man's high draw. Hashtag no limitation golf. Hashtag thrift shop open. I just bogeyed the last hole, so I decided to punish the brown top flight by switching to an orange one. I'm pretty sure you could hit a full flop shot off a cart path with that 10 iron. Probably take a divot. This thing must have a track man built into it. This 10 iron, it, it's good for two things. Chipping ice off your driveway after a blizzard and digging for dead bodies in hard dirt. The ambidextrous chipper to the rescue. Oh, better than most. I think it gave me a greater appreciation for the golf clubs that we get to play today and how easy they are to hit. It told me that you can play 
a set of old 1970s golf clubs with leftover golf balls that nobody wants and not really worry about the financial cost of it. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Fly Eagles fly.